Senator Gosway Akpabio laid the foundation for the criminality and looting that is going on in Akwaibon today. He imposed this evil genius on the people. Look at where Akwaibon would have been, but not for the wicked actions of these rooks parading themselves as politicians. The state has received trillions of naira in allocation since 2015, but there is nothing significant to show for it. These despicable characters have stolen most of the funds. I have no respect for these people. What I have for them is disdain and contempt. The so-called oil-rich state does not have a single standard public school, but the arrogant politicians are busy stealing as if there is no tomorrow. If you want to know how bad things are in the state, just look around and see the number of young people that you know that cannot find jobs. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is coming from a... Um, what is this guy's name? Inibehe. E. And he further stated that people who could not afford to build a house suddenly became overnight billionaires under Aquabu. You will hear people say that Aquabu turned boys to men. What they actually mean is that under Aquabu, stealing was a way of life. Upon completing his disastrous tenure with abandoned white elephant projects littered across the state, Aquabu went to Zenith Bank and brought another disaster to take over the they took over and continue the destruction from him. Governor Udom Emmanuel has no record of achievements apart from propaganda. It is as if Aquaibom is under the control of strong demonic forces. It is sad to see people defending and praising these thieves. Within his first six months in office, Udom Emmanuel built a multi-million naira edifice for himself. That was a sign of things to come. He has taken the profit. Pro, uh, profligate lifestyle of Aquabu to another ridiculous level. No sane governor or public office holder will budget a whooping sum of 10 billion naira to build a worship center when people are starving. Civil servants are complaining of poor welfare, but you have a man who prides himself as a financial expert dissipating public funds on exotic vehicles and other mundane things that have no bearing on the common man. The same man spent billions to build a senseless governor's lodge in Lagos. He is conniving with some religious charlatans, masquerading as pastor to deceive the people. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are complaining about a uh, acquirement. What about other states? It's the same thing. You know, it is business as usual. They know how they rule. They know how they move. It is not only in acquirement. Everybody has to speak. You know, for his or her state, you have to speak about what is happening in your state because all of them put together, they are doing the same thing, the same thing, the same tactics, the same strategy. These are the same people who um, amass a or budgeted pension for themselves. You can even imagine, even when people are talking about a, a, a governors that are receiving this and this and that, you know, the, if by the time you mention, before you can mention second uh, state, Aquaiba will be there, 100 uh, billion, is it 100 million naira? for for medical treatment meanwhile people in in the state cannot even get a two thousand naira or five thousand naira uh, money for their medical allowances or expenses but these people who have served just for eight years is a pity really really a pity where do we start from the worst part of it is that they will not if you start to talk they want to pin you down some people are just there to to defend them just like he said just like he said, Akpabio, the great teacher, who taught Udom. If Udom and his government is corrupt, it is Akpabio that taught them. God will Akpabio. God will Akpabio squandered the state resources for eight years and handed over huge debt burdened on his students. <laughs> Brethren, it is very sad that Akpabio state is becoming so poor, laughable and stagnated under Udom's administration. Helpless youth, starving children, hunger, Men and women wandering about only God. There's a whole lot of intellectual stagnancy that plague our people, even some of the so-called educated ones. I wish the video coverage before and after Aquabu of the entire Aquabu were taken. I'm sure people would uh, proudly say Aquabu did well. If you exclude a task government from your uh, perceived state treasury looting, then you are weeping sentiment and bias. 
if you see no achievement in Akpabio's government, then it is unfortunate you are joining issues here. You are already winning the support of lots of Akpabio's Aquabomats because of your fight against irresponsible leadership, but you will lose it if you join issues. Yes, Aquabio should take the blame of bringing Udom, but for a man Udom who has spent all his active career in the private sector at a top managerial level to run Aquabon in this manner is not only worrisome but unfortunate. If he had weak records, when if he had weak uh, records, then he wouldn't have had a place of, in Zenith Bank. Could there be an evil spirit that is misguiding our politicians? God no. Udom has actually disappointed Akwaibomite, who brought who thought he had the capacity to turn the state around. We should come together as a people and say never again with the incumbent governor imposes on us another governor. Let's agree as a people and choose who should govern us by ourselves. I love your fighting spirit, but never join issues. Be honest and realistic to issues so that you will continue to win massive support from good Aquabomites. Aquabio never made people rich by giving them car cash, but rather he empowered them through internal ministerial contracts with thorough supervision where as Udom is doing his own difference. Whereas Udom is doing his own differently. It's really unfortunate. Okay. Uh, I think uh, this person too, you are still joining issues. The problem we have is that we don't want to call a spade a spade. Maybe because you like somebody. But if they are talking about other people that you don't even have interest in or you don't even like, you'll be happy. Oh, yes, this person is doing it. But as soon as they come to the person you think you like, you begin to feel uncomfortable. And that is the problem we have in this country. No matter who's us is God. No, anybody that does something that is not right, you have to say it. And I remember a lot of people do talk about this whole thing. Yes, you can start to differentiate because these people, they know the tactics and that is the sentiment they are always weeping. Let's say, for example, somebody is getting one million naira, you know, making an example uh, from that. One million naira for you to do what you need to do. And at the end of the day, the person is spending I said 1 million naira and the person is spending like 2,000 naira or 10,000 naira from 1 million. Do you know what it, it means? Then people will now come and celebrate. Do you know the, the, the achievements you are talking about? Do you know how much he got for all of those money, the allocation throughout the eight years? And they will spend like 10,000 naira after 1 million naira and people will be shouting, yes, he tried. Maybe the person that was there before, that one managed to spend uh, 2,000 naira. Out of the one million naira the person had, just giving an example, can you imagine ten thousand naira from one million naira? Do you know what it means? That is exactly what these people do. They will just do some things, you know, just to cajole the people, and people will not be saying, "Yes, he tried." Yeah, let us see, let us even. If he had not done anything, what would he have done? Yeah, he tried now. Yeah, can't you see? He tried, and that is the mentality that a lot of Nigerians have. Like this person that commented, you know, trying to talk about it because this Inibe uh, is a is a lawyer uh, who has been speaking against a uh, 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 bad leadership, and. According to this uh, uh, commenter saying that uh, oh a lot of people like him the way he has been tackling the issue of a uh, bad leadership, but because this particular person feels that he likes Akwabio, so he sh they should not talk about him. No, all of them join together. All of them join together. I remember a lot of people do call on radios and say, oh, Akwabio, this and that. They will be praising him. Oh yes, he did. Uh, what is it called? He did all the roads. He did. Uh, what is it called? This. Uh, he brought airports to the uh, to the state, and he was trying to finish up with the international wins and all of that, which eventually this man would have continued with. Do you know the reason why he brought a, a, a this man, the Udom that you said he works in Zenith? Do you know the reason why they, they know all of these things, but you might not know. You are just looking them from afar, and they will tell you that Akwabio is a stadium, this and that, and a lot of people were really complaining. Even the hospitals and all, and the end of the day, tell me all of those things whether they are really. They have a positive impact in the lives of regular Aquaibon people. That is it. If somebody had the opportunity of getting one million naira and the person was spending spent ten thousand naira and you are praising him to high heavens, go and check deeper. You will know what people are talking about. People have done investigations before they come up with this, but because of those uh, little thing he did that is not even economical to the people right now and that is what a lot of people will be singing oh yes oh people are really not appreciative oh go and check those who were there before akbabu they didn't do much why are we supposed to be 
referring to but we're supposed to have moved ahead of this this uh, this stage we are do you know that a lot of us do not even know history and the so-called politicians that they are not even they don't even care all their own is just as let me acquire 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 and that's it up to today we don't even know how we came up with what the kind of system that we have how we arrive here just like the person is still saying that uh, maybe there's an evil spirit that really is really uh, uh working against them just like a uh, Ruben Abati said one time that there's evil spirits in the government's houses. You know, he was talking about Asuro. And somebody said, yes, yeah, so, you know, all the state government houses, they are evil spirits. Once they just get there, they begin to do um, their own thing. So, we just have to be careful. Because all these people, <laughs> I'm sorry. My, okay. It is only the ingrates and uh, cynics like Inibe Efion that we keep condemning Akwabu, but only stands stands out that Aquabio came out to empower Aquaibon people, okay? Now, okay, this one says, God will never allow a man who criticizes everyone to rule Aquaibon six in Jesus' name. Aquabio, no good. Udom, no good. Now, wow. Please tell him. Inibia is fond of insulting Aquabio, okay? That is what we are talking about. Go and check these people's life now. There's nothing to write to me about it, too. But they are just there to be defending. So, guys, let's have your take in these comments and let's know what you think.